Yes, I am Nadia's brother. <clears throat> Sister, and I am a lady with boobies. Do you like them? They're nice, right? You need it more than me. Is this guy bothering you? Oh, Lord, help us all. Oh, 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 it's an exciting show today. It Potentially, we're looking at the biggest Big Brother eviction in history. Uh, also on the show today, Helen Chamberlain is here. She's going to be campaigning for Dan or Shell. Uh, Vanessa Feltz is here, campa- campaigning for the Jungle Cat, Victor and Ahmed. And Avid Marion is here to profess his undying love for Nadia and Stu. <laughs> there he is. Uh, also, we've got friends and family and, of course, Davina. But we kick off, as we never do, with absolutely no news. Interesting. Very interesting. I can, however, tell you, whilst getting ready for tonight, Dan has burnt his head with peroxide. Ouch. Uh, and Victor's been given a new suit by Big Brother after his original outfit was burnt by Shell. And Nadia has had another shave. But listen, all these things are by and large material because, ladies and gentlemen, it's only the crowd. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what's your name? Steve. Um, Steve, where have you come from today? Come from Norfolk. So you're not a big hull boy, uh, but you obviously have come in homage and they support for Dan. Dan is our number one man. Why do you love Dan so much, aside from the fact you are him? Because he's so good looking. <laughs> oh! Hey. Is the right answer. Well, touche to you. Um, hello there, pink ladies. Hello. Oh, they all answered at the same time. <laughs> Hello, Pink Ladies. Um, who are you here supporting? We're here to support Michelle. Michelle. What? Why do we... Chickens, chicks. Lovely. Uh, why do we love Michelle so much? Oh, because she's falling in love. Yeah. yeah it's lovely. Isn't it, though? Her mind. Oh, yeah. Does she? Does she? Yeah. Yes, she does. Uh, what about you, ladies? Who are you here to support? You've got the old Big Mother T-shirt on there? Yeah, lovely. I'm Sorry, I wasn't just checking out your breasts. So I was just... <laughs> Jenny was just looking at the T-shirt there. Uh, who are you here supporting? Definitely, here for... definitely down. Oh, yeah. 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 Anyone here for Armin? Anyone supporting Armin tonight? Come on. You are, sir. Hey. You're supporting Ahmed. Yeah, Ahmed. Go on, Ahmed. Lovely. Good. I'm glad I, glad I stopped to speak to you. It's a crowd, everyone. Lovely. Um, so six housemates are facing the public vote tonight, and despite what some of the papers are saying, we believe only one of them is going. With that in mind, today's cool BBB is quite simply: who would the house miss most, and why? These are the numbers to call. Hello. Uh, three hours, 23 minutes till eviction night. Uh, joining me, therefore, to campaign on behalf of the housemates facing the public vote, Vanessa Fels, Avin Marion, and Helen Chamberlain. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thanks for coming. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vanessa, you're first up. Yes. Uh, you're here to support two of the jungle cats up for eviction tonight, Ahmed and Victor. Absolutely. What is it about Ahmed and Victor we love so much? Well, let's do Ahmed first. Without Ahmed, the crockery would be safe, which would be a terrible shame. Without Ahmed, there would be no man to stand up for hypochondria. Oh, I'm so ill. I can't <laughs> yes. possibly do sentry duty. There's nothing wrong with him at all. Without Ahmed, there'll be no irritant, no grit in the oyster. Yep. Life would be too boring, too serene, too samey. It takes real guts to go to sleep when everybody else is bonding in something like Big so Brother. Annoying. So what about Victor? So annoying so when Victor, Victor is hilarious. He talks like a mutant ninja turtle. I love the hat. He talks a load of rubbish, but he's very, very funny. And he's getting fatter and fatter, which makes me feel good about eating biscuits. I love Victor, and I hope he never leaves. OK. Don't use your gold here, guys. We need to pitch really for you for a minute. Big Brother, right? Avid, Avid, why are you complaining to keep Nadia and Stu in the house? Just very briefly. Um, <laughs> because I think that Elvis Presley was the most prettiest man I ever saw. Yeah. Until Nadia came along. Hello. Uh, She's really pretty. Yeah. Uh, and look, he's you must, like Tom Cruise. You must right? quite like Stu, though, right? He's like Tom Cruise, and his hairs, it's like Louise Nerding or Red Knapp. You prefer Nadia, though, don't you? I like Nadia. Look at the breasts. Can this come off? Mm, I really hope not, which leads me Ooh. on to. Oh, cheeky boobs! <laughs> cheeky boobs! <laughs> Luckily, not real boobs. Cheeky boobs! Which I'm leads me on to Helen. Moves. Yes, you are. But never again. Uh, Helen, you're back in Dan and Shell. What yes. is it about this? 
I couldn't believe it when the housemates were announced that first Friday because I know Dan. No way. I what? know him a little bit. Because she's um, seen Star Wars. I write a column. I write a column for the Daily Star Sunday and I just wrote an article saying where have all the dance bands gone in the world. My email was right flooded there. with there is this great band from Hull called Ice House. This guy, leaving it, it Dan. Week. So I wrote about him, and they printed a picture in the column as well. And I've got his phone number. I've got Dan's mobile phone Whee! number. It doesn't mean anything unless you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> a gay man. <laughs> Not a gay. All right, tonight eight becomes great. seven, uh, and, and we love Shell as well. Okay, tonight eight becomes seven. She's Who will pressure, leave the biggest void in the house? Uh, let's look at their unique selling points. Here's what Ahmed and Victor bring to the party. Mincing your words, can't get to the point. Get Ahmed. When someone is angry, it's better to leave them. And you know the way I am, it's better to leave me. But you don't leave me, you're saying I that and that and that. People, they think that I'm not a straight talker. I'm a straight talker. Ahmed does exactly what he says on the tin. Lacking direction, feel like you can't deliver. Decided to become the George Bush of this house under my administration won't stand for terrorists. Don't talk to me like that. And it wasn't smart, and you were smart. I'm asking fine. you to be a bit civilized, yeah? Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? That's fine. Victor. No nonsense. All right, here's what's going to happen now. You've all got 20 seconds to pitch. Vanessa, you're first up. You've been in there. Mm. Uh, in 20 seconds, why were the house missed Ahmed and Victor more than any of the others? Your 20 seconds start now. They miss Ahmed because it takes guts to go to sleep when everyone else is bonding because the crockery would never be safe again because there'll be no one to say, they hate me, they hate me, they hate me. And they'd miss Victor because of the hats, because of sitting around in his pyjamas all the time and because he talks about himself as if he's sort of Schwarzenegger meets some kind of combat hero. And I think he is. I adore him. I... I would. I love it. I wouldn't mind giving him a snog. Okay. Uh, let's see what Nadi and Stu offer the house. Hey kids, get the new Stu. Comes with three different outfits. He's great. When life gets you down, when all you do is frown, you need Nadia. You can't shun. All right, Avid, you've got uh, 20 seconds to convince us why the house would miss Nardi or Stuart more than the others. Okay. Your 20 seconds starts now. You should keep me in the house because I am very courageous. So courageous that I had the snip and I am laughing still. Life is brilliant. And um, I want to have sex in the house with Michelle. <laughs> um, so keep me in. So viewing is good, right? Uh, you know you want to see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say some of the things I, I was told not to say. I know. <laughs> I love you. Or two of them you didn't say, which is great. Um, I don't know why I just didn't preface this whole item with an apology before you came. Can I take my hands out of Nadia? No, you can't. Just, they're really sweaty. That's, that's your penance. Put them back in there. <gasps> oh. Lastly, let's look at I'm the fence right sitters. inside. Look. Dan <laughs> and Shell. So sweaty. Peace. Love. Harmony. Right now. Oh, calm down. Both of you calm down right now. I don't wish anyone bad in here, and I don't wish anyone nasty feelings, and I'm not going to question somebody. When somebody says something, mm. I take it on board. <laughs> Shell, probably the nicest housemate in the world. When all around are losing their heads. I am completely happy about the result. Really? So I can put my hand on my heart, Ahmed, okay, and look you in the eye okay. and say that to you. No idea. wants to speak to you. This year? Yeah. Um, she wants to clear the air. Get down. Because strife's complicated enough. Nice. OK, 20 seconds. Uh, same rules apply. Why would the house miss these two more than any others? 20 seconds starts now. I think they just deserve to stay in. I do love all of the housemates this year, and I think the mix of them at the moment is brilliant, but... Shell is nice, and there's nothing wrong with being she's nice. She's a goody goody. But she's Vanessa, not. she's speaking now. She takes all of her clothes off. She's a prefect. She's lovely without being prissy. She can have a whole argument without swearing, and then she goes away and swears on her own. How cool is that? Time and up. Dan's the daddy. Time up. <laughs> can I just for 
apologize? No, you can't. Can Shut I just up. Apologize to gender reassignment people. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> if I offended, it was great. We should all do it. Hopefully, <laughs> that's helped you make up your mind. But I very, very much doubt it. Uh, if not, do not worry, because in a few minutes we'll be chatting to the friends and family, the housemates, and they won't swear. We'll see you in three. <laughs> Yeah, so that went really smoothly. Uh, welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother. Coming up, finding out who the nation's celebrities of various lists want out tonight. But first, let's check in with the big mama. So, so food. Hey! Hey! You look great Hello. tonight. Hey, thanks. Nice pins. Got me, got me pins out. How are things? Yeah, very good. Can you give very us a good. tour of your room this very year? Good. Okay, this oh, Hello, team. All good TV presenters have an entourage. I have Michael, no entourage. AJ and Lindsay. Um, you have no entourage. You did say all you good TV borrow, presenters. You can borrow mine. You've got a bed in here. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I have. Why yeah, is this room so nice? Because I remember I when I interviewed lucky. you last year, it wasn't as beautiful as this. Apparently it wasn't for me. It was for Gwyneth Paltrow. In here? I was like, look, they've done it up for me. But no, it's for Gwyneth. Room. It's lovely. Yeah, I like it. Um, look, watching BB. Excited obviously. about tonight? Yes. Excited. Yet nervous. Yeah, sure. Mm. So have you got six scripts that you have to memorise Yes, tonight? and interviews, and all the VTs and stuff, but it's good. Who are you most excited about seeing if there is one? The, you know, the, the my hat might happen. Well, obviously, I'd lo I can't wait to meet Nadia. I just want to meet Nadia. Mm -hmm. um, and quite frightened about the possibility of meeting <laughs> Ahmed. He is but waiting. Lena! He's waiting for the night. I'm coming! This could like, be this his night. Afraid of. This could be his it night. It could. Are you excited about that? Is excited you know, the wrong excited word? might be the wrong word. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not cool. sure. Lovely. Um, yeah, have a good night. Mwah. Hey, team. Damn it, damn it. Is that all they do? It. They just damn read it. magazines? Yeah. But, and all of the, like, really good ones. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm wearing black. Just oh, thank you. you. Sorry. Sorry. Just I wasn't even going to ask today. But you weren't going to ask. Thank you anyway. I'll let you know. Bye. Lovely. Love well, your work. Where were you wearing? That's fantastic. Okay. Woo! -hoo. How can something so wrong look so right? Uh, OK, everybody's talking about the eviction tonight, as always. Uh, even miscellaneous celebrities at premieres like Spider-Man 2. Take a look at this. I want everybody out of the house apart from Nadia. I think she's only perfect. I hope she wins. I'm going to have to say Shell has to go next, because she reminds me of a really horsey, horsey girl. Nadia, the search is over. I'm here now. Victor, definitely. Ahmed, how do you get your times up, son? I think all the housemates should be sent home for the day and given a very good telling off by the parents. We've had our fun, but now it's down to business. Uh, this is the friends and family room. We hold them here on show nights. Each of them has come armed with a touching story designed to tug at your heartstrings and something to make you go, ah. Hello, friends and family room. <laughs> Um, we haven't told them to behave like that. That's exactly how they are in real life. OK, uh, let's meet each and every one of these friends and family. Uh, first up, we've got Christian, who's Dan's brother. Hey, Christian. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello, Hello. Christian, everyone. Oh. Uh, Christian, you've obviously known Dan all your life, but are you younger or older than him? I'm younger than he is. Lovely stuff. What is that? Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> and she works on the show. <laughs> Not even a friend or family. <laughs> OK, uh, now you have a, a, something about Dan that will make us go, ah, what is that something? <laughs> uh, when we were kids, he hates daddy long legs, but he used to protect me from them when I was a baby. Aww. 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 Now, it made them go, ah, but... Did you need protection from Daddy Long? I did, because I, I, I hate them as well. <laughs> like, they don't have any personal vendetta against your family as a species. Well, I think they used to follow us around more than did other they? families. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> OK, lovely. That, that made me go, oh, what about you? Aww. That's nice. That's, that's very good. OK, uh, next up we have Olivia. Where's Olivia? Hand up. There she is. <laughs> Olivia is Shell's friend. Um, how long have you known Shell for? Uh, for two years. Two years. Now, so you know through university? Yes. You yeah. must be very, very proud of her getting very her first. Very proud. Excellent. Yeah, we're really pleased. Uh, you, uh, did you get your first? Or... Oh, no, I got a two one. Oh, no. That's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> that's good, very much. Uh, OK, tell us something about uh, Shell that's going to make us go, ah. Oh. Well, when Shell was 16, um, she saved two lambs from the slaughter. They were going to be killed. So, so what, did she buy those lambs? Or no, well, she was given them. She was given them because she took them off the farmer's hands. Yeah, so and the farmer um, said, oh, right, I'm either going to have these for my lunch or you can yes, have them. So exactly, she said, and enough. she's 
read a flock of sheep from and them. She's reared them. Aww. <laughs> were they real life lambs or were they in any way sort of genetically modified? Are they? Real life. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> oh, no Dolly the sheep around there. That's lovely. Okay. Where's Janet? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Janet. She's there. Uh, Stuart's sister, how are you? I'm fantastic. I'm also, I'm not going to speak to her, it's Stuart's mother. Hi, Chihuahua. <laughs> Enchante. <laughs> um, sorry, I don't mean to crack on to your mum while I'm here, but uh, tell us something uh, about, about Big Stu that's going to make us go, Aww. OK. Um, <laughs> uh, many years ago, when he was at the tender age of 18, that's not me that's not strictly many years ago, is it? <laughs> well Okay. A couple of years ago. Yeah. He um was going on holiday and his girlfriend was like getting quite upset because she was gonna miss him. So he didn't have a car, he couldn't get the bus, so he ran to her house two miles with a bunch of flowers to give her a hug and say he'll miss her and he loves her and then he ran back home and went on holiday. And, I imagine, found time during that to do a thousand press-ups. <laughs> Quite possibly, yes. That's due. Aww, oh, that is nice. He's a romantic, isn't he? Bless him. Uh, OK, next up we have uh, Mariana, Nadia's friend. Woo! That's right. Woo! Uh, how are you? All right? I'm OK, thank Excellent. you. Now, how long have you known Nadia? For eight years. So, back in the old country in Portugal, yeah? Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. OK, now tell us something about Nadia that's going to make us go, ah. Oh. I've got a five-year-old son. That already makes me go, ah. <laughs> and she tells everyone that she's his second son. Second second Mom. mother, yeah? It's so, oh, second that is Mom, lovely. Yeah. Now, does she buy lots of presents? She spoils him? Yes, yeah, she does. Does she? Yeah. She's a, she's a naughty girl for spoiling him, isn't she? But we mm. love her for it. That makes me... What does it make us go, guys? Aww. Thank you very much, Thank you. Lovely, very stylish outfit, buddy. Uh, next up, we have uh, Alicia, who's Victor's girlfriend. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank Big you. Big round of applause, you? please. <laughs> uh, you've been on the show before, of course. Yes, the old hands. Yes, indeed, you are. Um, tell us something about Victor that's making us going to go. <laughs> um, when Victor was younger, his mother used to make him learn a word a day and then come back to her at the end of the day. And that he is would so sweet. To, you know, know the word. Oh. Isn't that nice? Was he good at that? Or? Well, yeah, and it shows because, you know, he's got a good command of the English language when he wants to. In it! In it! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. OK, unfortunately, no one from uh, Ahmed's uh, friends or family could be here, but we do have his friend HC on the phone right now. Hello, HC. Hi. Hi, how are, how are you? It's HC, everyone. Yay! Isn't that nice? Uh... HC, you've known him since 1977, is that right? That's right, yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. So, um, is this, I mean, how, how do you think he's doing in the house? Well, I think uh, Ahmed is a uh, is very, very, very quiet person, very charming personality. But, you know, uh, what I think is, I mean, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. his brother are stepping on his nerves, you see. They are playing yeah. a dirty game with him, just they want to steer up their show. And for that reason, Ahmed is sometimes losing his temper, which is not easy. No, of course not. I now, mean, now, he, just just tell us something about Ahmed that's going to make us go ah. Say again. <laughs> okay. I cannot hear. Properly. That's okay. Uh, tell us something about Ahmed that's going to make us go ah. Something nice. Mm. Mm. Well, <laughs> he's a very uh, straightforward person. Yeah. He likes to be treated likewise. Yeah. But the problem is, if someone doesn't treat him what he was expecting, that's, uh, you know, when every human person thinks so, you know. Thank you very much, HC. You're welcome any time. Okay. Bye. Cheers. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I hope that's helped you make your decision. These are the numbers to call. Uh, today's call cool BBLB is who will the house miss, miss the most and why? We are still joined by Vanessa, Avid and Helen. Let's go to the phones. Hello, who's first up? It's only Irene. Hello, Irene. Hello, Janet. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I, I could read your name. The phone board wasn't there, Irene. I do apologise. Um, yep. So, go ahead, Irene. 
Um, I think Nadia is uh, good fun. She's good around the house, and she's very brave being in there, telling the world about her story, because everybody doesn't like parts of the body. So you think they'll miss her the most, yeah? I think so. She's good entertainment. I think we'll miss her. But they'll gain loads more money for their food because the fag budget, because her fag budget must be enormous. Not allowed to say fag. <laughs> <laughs> it's gay man. Cigarette budget. The gay man budget would Cigarette be... Cigarette no, budget. I agree. I think, I think Nadia would be a great loss. I think that laugh is inimitable, although everyone's trying to do it. I think yeah. she's a... a <laughs> Thank you. I think her fashion sense is extraordinary and beyond compare. Yeah. And I, yes. think, and I think she's very angry, which is always good viewing. She's That's very always ready okay. to be cross. Thank Thank you. Boobies. Yeah. Helen from Tottenham. Hello, Helen. Hi, Emma. How are you doing? I'm OK, thanks. Go for it. Well, I think stew, chicken stew, because, you know, obviously Michelle is going to miss him loads. Um, I also think the jungle cats, because he's part of their gang. And I also think, you know, he's just fun, he's young, and, you know, he's that kind of element in the group. So I think they'll miss him. Helen, cut to the chase here. You fancy him? No. <laughs> Come on, cool. Helen. No, well, he's cute. If Stuart just turned up at White Hart Lane. <laughs> I turned up them. there also. Yeah. <laughs> you like the sound of Helen, don't you, Abby? Yes, but Stuart's nice. Oh, you right? like Stuart? Yes. I think he looks like he's a great. Furby. He's a baby. Looks now, like I don't know how anyone can find him. He's a little, he looks like a soft little cuddly toy that you win at the fair. Oh, he looks he's like got, Tom Cruise he's got in the milk. movie Legend. Oh, Helen, you remember? like him, yeah? Oh. You like, yeah? Well, he, he wouldn't have to say please. OK. Or oh, thank you. <laughs> That's He's nice, okay. Okay. Thank you, please. Emma in Southampton, <laughs> lastly. Hello, Emma. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Go for it. I'm um, Dan, because uh, he's a well, good mediator. Yes. He's never moaned, and he never holds a grudge. He does that funny thing with his lips. Sure. Yeah, I like that. Out, yeah. Do you like that? No. I do. I like I it at the end like of every sentence. Oh, it's silly. Let's go and have dinner. He's the best gay man I've ever seen. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. Um, you can say gay man. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Emma. Thank you. Shona in Manchester. Hi. Go for it. Hello. Uh, well, Hi, I think Dan Shona. is uh, the, the one You think Dan too, yeah? He's got the most calming influence on the house. He's a great yeah. listener and he acts as the mother figure in the house and keeps everyone calm when arguments fire up. OK. Oh, he's so boring. Up he's rocks. like a head boy. No, he's got good bottom teeth. You think, you think Dan's pretty boring? <laughs> I think yeah. he's pretty Dan dull, yeah. yeah. I think Dan, the role the of mediator is a really dreary one. I think we could lose him and but then let them just get at it. Okay. Guys, uh, we all have opinions. We find out tonight at 9 o'clock. We're back at 2 on Sunday. Leave Victor alone. Goodbye!